That's a very warm kusu sampo and good evening to all the listeners of Yiga Radio 94.7 FM and yes as always welcome to the shirt bit that is Yiga Cafe which happens every Friday but yes just a slight change we'll be having twice a month so this is my second episode after this covid uh, pandemic my first episode uh, just to give a slight recap uh, we had our uh, youth icon dash benji yeah. and it was a very yeah. successful show we were basically uh, discussing about um, nature's conservation but yes today i have a very special guest with me um he is been well known uh, to everyone and yes uh, he is none other than kilefinto um i used we used to uh, when we used to work uh, together i used to call him ajipas <laughs> so kile welcome to the show iga cafe and a uh, very uh, good evening to you very good evening to you so thank you for having me and here's the 10 bucks for saying all those lovely things oh about my God. me <laughs> Just 10 bucks. I was expecting okay, something. Uh, like that's all I'm more. carrying in my wallet right now. Can I embob you? Yeah, that that is the best thing happening yeah. right now, no? People with hardly me. carry cash, so it's just like embob. That's yeah. the best way. So, with that, uh, how was your day today? Um okay, I suppose I woke up uh I've been getting up quite early these days, so that's been a bit of an issue for me cuz I I feel a little sleep deprived. Mhm. But other than that, yeah, it's been a good day. I cleaned up I the house. I see you're really busy. Yes, <laughs> a lot of running <laughs> yeah. up and down, up and down. Yes, of course. Well, um, let me uh, give again. I think uh, more than I get. I think I'll get more than ten bucks, maybe. Yes, you will. You will. So maybe I should uh, polish you again some more. A uh, few paragraphs, maybe. Mm, sure, go ahead. So tomorrow is weekend, so maybe like uh, you can. Uh, this, well, I'll pay uh, for your yeah. weekend out. How's that? <laughs> Okay with that um well Akile is a singer songwriter and a co-founder of Dining in the Dark Bhutan charity event which aimed towards helping people living with disability and he has uh, Akile is doing a wonderful job I should say and he has uh, he is also um uh, a, you know he is uh, is really talented uh, i should say because i know kile from quite a long time back actually um when we used to work together we used to have a lot and lot of fun and at that time he used to be very young but now he is like grown up you know he is you've grown up too by the way <laughs> of course <laughs> i've become older now <laughs> okay so basically kile uh, right now is just working on his um like you know bands and like some other um like work but whatever kile is doing he is really aspiring to um, you know lives and he has in you know, doing what he love is making him you know a person a uh, happy person and a very creative person so whatever you are doing kile uh, i just want to say uh, all the best thank you so much <laughs> So now you're going to get more money for that. Yes. yes, of course. Oh, okay, I have plenty of money for my weekend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kile, um like you did some of the like in some popular songs like She in 2020, The Broken Heart in 2018, Slow Fade in 2019. So there are so many things we will be um you know talking about uh, discussing about Kile and like we have lots of fun to chat. So yes, uh, just to remind you all, we are live on our Facebook page that is Eager Radio. Radio 94.7 FM with the show Iga Cafe on Iga Radio with me your host Arch Angel I friendly host and I have my uh, dear friend Kile uh, Arch boss with me mm-hmm. so we'll just kick off with the show maybe like yeah so let's we'll, do it yeah so Kile um what were you doing this whole pandemic because every time you know uh, this whole year uh, since last march we were like having you know okay okay so covid has treated us really bad mm-hmm. so how it has uh, like you know um, hampered your uh, daily lives what were you doing most of the time well, for one thing um i before the pandemic started i was doing a few acoustic shows here and there for events and after the pandemic happened as we all know the bars closed a lot yes. of places closed down no public events no big mm-hmm. gatherings so 
Yeah, um, that sort of, I, much like most musicians and singer-songwriters, I sort of couldn't do that as well. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm fortunate in the fact that it didn't affect me as much as a lot of other people did, mm -hmm. and, and as it affected a lot of other people. Yes. But most of the pandemic I spent at home, um, uh, we were all, we've, we've been in lockdown twice now. Yes, So course. the first lockdown in August I spent um, with my, at my mom's place. Mm -hmm. And my, my dad, my whole family was there, which is very rare for us because my younger brother studies in Gujarat and my dad works in Samsi. Mm -hmm. So during the lockdown it just so happened that my younger brother was here on summer holidays and my dad also had to come up for some work. And at the same time, uh, my wife also came back from mm -hmm. Zirang for something. To, uh, she came to Thimpu to visit me. Mm -hmm. And the lockdown like happened exactly one day after she got here. So she got stuck with me for longer than she intended uh, so, to be. <laughs> so good of uh, you, no? Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, what has favored you so much? <laughs> yes, I think that uh, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I, I think I had, I had an easier mm -hmm. lockdown than most people. And I'm grateful for that. But at the same time... Um, uh, yeah, um, uh, there were some challenging things that happened, I think. So, yes, everybody has chale uh, challenging yeah. Uh, yeah. things in their life. But I just want to ask, what you learned from this COVID pandemic? One thing I've noticed from the pandemic, and I've been very vocal about this, and I've been screaming this to anyone who would listen, is that I realize how selfish Bhutanese people can be. Okay. I know it's, it's such a negative thing to say, but I did. I realized how, how I mean... I'm grateful that our king, our our king and our government, they're not perfect, but they tried their best, and yes. they made made it. They tried to make, give us whatever we, we 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 didn't have to struggle as much as other countries did during of the course, pandemic. That's true. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we didn't struggle as well. We did, but I think our our king, our government, our desops, our law enforcement, our health workers, they really tried their best, and they're only human, and yet they still managed to make sure that none of us course, had yeah. to go through, had to struggle as much. But then what was sad to see was a lot of, uh, I, I wouldn't say a I lot of Bhutanese, Bhutanese, I wouldn't say a lot of them, but there was a, a, a small minority, but from whatever I could say, I could just see a lot of people being ungrateful yeah, and being a little mm -hmm. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. Anyways, um, thank you for sharing what uh, all you uh, did in your lockdown. So, moving on, like... Oh, you... um, sorry. One more thing. Yes. We made a lot of radish pickle. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So... I just thought I'd put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'm expecting a bottle from you, maybe? Oh, no. It's done now. Oh, it's done. Yeah, like, so, you so... have no idea how much our family loves oh, pickles. No. But I have prepared, so I can always... Um, Get it for you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Moving on. We are still with the show Eager Cafe only on Eager Radio 94.7 FM. Giving you company. I'm your host, RJ Angel. And yes, time here in the studio clock is for 3. So we'll just move on with the show. So, uh, very first thing, uh, um, Kile, um, you know, uh, we. I should say, uh, I started a little early, I guess, if I'm not wrong, as working with the media, like, you know, uh, mm -hmm. as a radio jockey. And uh, I think you are a little junior, if I'm not wrong. Am I right? I or think I, so. I think so, right. Because I joined and then later on you joined. If I, I'm not wrong. In all, in all honesty, I really can't remember that really, <laughs> but I do remember seeing you at yes. Kuzu. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. So how you um, you know started uh, the, your journey uh, in the field of radio as a radio jockey? What inspired you? And like you know, if you could share something about, let's go to the uh, let's go to our old memories maybe for some time, and we can come back flashback. <laughs> <laughs> do you have the music for that? Okay, let's just do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, okay. <laughs> so I actually I was in class. Nine, yeah, that must have been two thousand and seven. Mm. When I, when I uh, sort of went over to Kuzu FM and asked them if I think they were trying to do like a lot of because Kuzu is yes, a youth oriented. Yes, it used to have, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, I think they were looking for like young. Like they, they they had a show called Youth Unplugged, which oh. was every Saturday and Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. I can't really remember that clearly. Yes, yes. Because. And I had asked them if you know, like I think we, I had. Like we had, a friend of mine was doing the show. Now I remember, a friend of mine was doing the show, and she had asked me to join her on one of the shows. Mm -hmm. 
as one as a guest as one of a, as a co-host mm -hmm. and i just enjoyed doing it i enjoyed having a conversation i enjoyed getting to play music the kind of music that i wanted to play mm -hmm. and that sort of kicked off the whole like wanting to do radio and i think up till class 12 i was doing this youth volunteer thing with kuzu fm yeah so um okay you have that basic uh, you know knowledge of uh, being uh, rg so within that period of time what were some things you learned uh, like what uh, uh, rg radio jockey need uh, to like you know have in them to become a perfect radio jockey so in your view what do you think are the qualities required maybe like i can share my own uh, like you know perspective of uh, being a radio jockey mm -hmm. but uh, what you have learned uh, up till your journey as a rj if you could share us what are the qualities needed to be a radio jockey maybe like someone who is planning to proceed their career further maybe in, in radio. Yeah. yeah it may help them i think you need to be the first most important thing is confidence mm -hmm. i think a lot of people we tend to shut ourselves off as soon as we are put in front of a camera of or a microphone and it doesn't matter because we are human even though you can be confident you uh, confidence does not mean that you are able to see things without stuttering or making problems mm -hmm. like even right now when i'm talking to you i'm still using words like like or um but of what's course. really important is confidence yeah, it's very true, yeah. and i think second thing um i would i would urge anyone who's trying to not that i'm a professional at radio i haven't done it long enough to be a professional and i don't even think i'm a semi pro but from what i've learned from radio and what i've seen and what i when i when i listen to radio from abroad is that radio is personality driven yes thanks. it requires you to be somebody who brings your personality out and makes people and enamor people with your personality you can't be somebody who's very closed off and shy because yes. then you know like i said if you cannot bring if you don't bring that personality in mm. in, in the forefront it's going to be very difficult, difficult. to that to is for sure through. yes yes of course what are uh, like you know uh, also some advantages you saw um, being a rj and disadvantages maybe <laughs> i think the disadvantage I, um, the disadvantage i would go is right now with how digital media is progressing i think radio is slowly not i wouldn't say dying out it's not dying out i don't think it'll ever die out yes. but i think radio is slowly being fa like pe it's being put in on the back yes you know um it's interesting because there was there's a song by there's a song called video kill the radio star yeah, yeah. and once now that you know way back before television was invented mm. i think radio was one of the bigger hits okay. then once television and programming came through then tv took over yes. and now with digital media people having youtube thing uh people don't really listen to radio as much and now with podcasts being yes, a big thing yes podcast is taking over yeah. yeah i think um it's not a radio like i said radio is not dying out but it's just it's just something i feel that people would listen to when they are probably in their cars, cars yeah. or maybe like yeah. i should say um in rural places especially yeah i think in the yes, rural yes, areas radio rural is still areas. Uh, in rural places like radio is a uh, main source of uh, information mm. to people so yes of course um as you mentioned that uh, you know you have to be very open to become a radio jockey as per what i feel is um you know shying out is one thing you have to remember every time yeah. you should not if you shy out and like you know feel like you know you can't do it then it's not the if you are planning to proceed or like you know um, step into the career of radio jockey then i'm so sorry to say that is not the right <laughs> career you are choosing if you are shy and like you know if you're not confident enough mm. another thing is like you know but you can um, always build yes you can always course. i used to be a very shy kid i don't know we are not that we never used to interact much only in our office hours we used yeah. to interact but that's what, but uh, to share with you I, i'm a very shy person i still shy uh, when uh, when someone plays camera in front of me like right now well, <laughs> i can't really yeah, <laughs> three different cameras and i can't uh, like you know face the camera so that is still i'm having some difficult times and advantages i could share is like you explore a lot 
you get to meet a lot of people, new faces, you got to interact, you know, you got to um, share your knowledge, you got to, you, you, you get all those um, new information. So these are some of the advantages you have in radio. And yes, disadvantages is like, you know, people who are, especially the arches are, I think uh, somebody really um, told me like, arches are most ugliest people. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I I don't know. I I I I I don't particularly think I'm that great looking. But who but, is? Yes, of course. But especially um because mo I I have few friends from outside who are radio jockey. They also say like you know artists are the most ugliest people. But the good comment I got is like you're very. Nice, beautiful, but I should not be taking that. Mm -hmm. So I, I also feel like you know, um, it's up to you, you know, well, how you present yourself. Your heart should be beautiful enough. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think you need to be yeah. Like I think it's more more important with the things you do than the yes, way you that's look. Yes, true. Okay, a gentle reminder to all the listeners of Eagle Radio Life and on air. Uh, we are with the show Iga Cafe, only in Iga Radio 94.7 FM. This is my second episode after this COVID love, um, pandemic and I'm happy to share with you all that basically today my motive behind calling Kile is like we are into a very same professional into music, um, into media, so we thought that you know why don't we share our own experience with all the listeners and like you know um, share our um, what we have learned and what we can um, you know uh, provide you with basic uh, knowledge about if you are planning to proceed your career in radio jockeying or like into music mm -hmm. yes uh, Kili is the right uh, person if you have any questions regarding uh, music or like you know anything else we are live on Facebook so you can always uh, log into our Facebook page Eager Radio 94.7 FM and uh, also um, you can comment on our Facebook live we will always uh, reply you back. Uh, with that, uh, Kile, so uh, if you would share, also share with us story behind your interest in music. I know, like you are, you are, you have the born talent. Uh, <laughs> like you sing, I have heard you singing several times. So, what, uh, why um, into music, and what kind of genres you sing or play? So, if you could generally share with all the listeners. My love for music, I think, goes back to when I was probably four or five years old. Oh my God. Or six or seven, I'm not I sure. I could imagine, like, you, at that time, you were very cute. <laughs> but I'm not now. I'm good now. You I'm are. Just kidding. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, but, like, um, so, when, 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 I was, uh, when I was a kid, I, I can still remember sitting in the back seat of my dad's car. Mm -hmm. And I, lis I grew up listening to a lot of my mother's music. So stuff like England Dan, mm -hmm. I grew up listening to Dire Straits, I l grew up listening to a lot of Jagjit Singh. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I think from, and I, my mom and I would, uh, we would, we would be sit, like my mom would sit in the front seat, I'd be in the back. And I sort of would sing along to the songs, I picked up lyrics on, based on ear. Mm -hmm. And from then on, I think I always loved, list I, I just sort of fell in love with music and I'm, my mom tells me that she, there there were times when I used to make up songs which mm -hmm. were the most stupid ones. I think she once said that I made a song about a fan. Oh, okay. I don't know what the song was, but she said I was looking at a fan when we were living oh, a in... a fan? Yeah, a fan. Oh, okay. So when we were living in Wangli, she said I was just lying in bed and I was looking up at a fan and I just started singing something about a fan. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and then um, when I was in high school... I got into a lot of heavy metal, mm. and ever since then, I think I've had a, a big love for heavy metal. Like, mm. I love bands like Lamb of God, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, all that stuff. But then, as of recently, I mean, when I was going through my heavy metal phase, I, I'm not ashamed to say that I also went through the elitist phase, mm -hmm. which is the whole like I used to be like, oh, there's no other genre but heavy metal. <laughs> like hip hop, hip hop is not good. Pop is not good, like only heavy metal, and yeah, I, I think that the edge lord yes. phase was there. But um, as I got older, when I went to college and all that sort of stuff, I sort of reined in those perspectives. Mm. And nowadays, I enjoy 
anything that sounds good to me, I enjoy it. Whether it's pop, whether it's hip hop, whether it's rap, whether it's R and B, metal, rock, blues, jazz. As long as it sounds good to me and it well, makes me groove, then yeah, I'm into it. That means you you don't have uh, like you know a special kind of genres you are like mainly focused with. Yeah, if I was younger, when I was younger, heavy metal, but now it's like whatever whatever floats my boat. So that, uh, if you don't mind, can I take you to your younger uh, like you know days? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Would you love to go? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay so Kile gonna is days. going. Kile is gonna sing a song oh, no, for us. Oh no! I don't mean that. <laughs> uh, actually, okay, no, uh, maybe no, like. Um, to line maybe? Um, no, actually the thing is, recently I had this throat issue and I had to go to the uh, ENT mm -hmm. and I had I've developed a bit of a polyp on my vocal cords. Okay. So I've actually been advised by the doctors to not sing for okay. a while. I'm so sorry, I, that's... Mm -hmm. Are you sure? For, yes. Okay, hope that is not an Oh, trust excuse. me, otherwise I'm more than happy to like start belting <laughs> out tunes. Okay, maybe like we'll have a separate episode for Kile, uh, where he will be performing live, maybe. Yes. Yeah, I mean, coming days, yeah. One of the people who works here is my is a good friend of mine who plays the guitar quite well. So yes, he 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 can just play the guitar and he can just sing, and you guys can have a lot of fun uh, with. Uh, in no, the I'm going to make you join in too, though. Um. Hey, maybe, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm uh, if I sing, then maybe like, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe like, if we go live or like, my listeners might decrease. So I never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, um, I will take a short musical break, maybe. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned with us only on Eagle Radio 94.7 FM. If you have tuning time here in the studio, clock is four. 18 and we will be right back with a short musical break and yes we are still live on our facebook page you can leave your comment and your uh, suggestions any questions we will take it and if you are busy right now if you are driving then you can always um, view our videos it will be live on our facebook page Where the smile 